What is up everyone? We've got a beautiful day out here in Boulder, Colorado and I'm excited to show you my 2004 KTM 250 EXC. Now I picked this up a couple days ago and I'm just doing a little walk around here. I just kind of want to show you a little bit of the bike and uh, we'll get more videos on it in the future but I just kind of wanted to walk around it kind of show you what I've done so far. So when I purchased it, the uh, grips were completely crusted out and the bottom was ripped out. So I got some new grips there. Also, the steering was off. When I let go of the steering, um, the bars were pointing a little bit more right while the wheel was going straight. So I went ahead and straightened that out. And then also um, the fork seals were leaking. So these are 48 millimeter shocks. KTM have used these for a really long time and uh, these are really good shocks they're spring-loaded they've got uh, fluid in there um, it's uh, the five weight and uh, you just take it the front all out you loosen up here and then you pull it all out it's actually a fairly easy replacement if you kind of know a little bit of mechanical background uh, so it wasn't too bad I also uh, purchased these seal savers so the uh, seals will last a little bit longer. Uh, when I purchased it also, it was dented up pretty good and it was pretty rusted. Uh, I went ahead and got a little uh, brushed metal wheel with a drill on it and cleaned out all the rust and then polished it up so it looks pretty good. But at some point I will go ahead and get myself a new uh, series FMF. I believe this is the, oh the gnarly pipe, nice. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that at some point, but she runs really good. The uh, previous owner just replaced the, uh, or uh, rebuilt the carburetor, put new brake fluid, and um, greased up the uh, clutch as well. So the brake systems are doing really good. Cool thing about KTM is they do use the Brembo brakes, so you got the cool Brembo brake logo there. You know, everything's working good. I went ahead and uh, replaced the uh, um, gearing oil and the only thing with this specific one is you can see the oil levels here when I took this thing out and put it back in it was pretty uh, at a lot of resistance so that's a little bit worrisome so I probably won't check the oil as much as I would like to going in the front I do have the original EXC front light but I actually do like this one a lot better it's got two lights uh, high and low beams you just flip it on here so this is low then the middle setting is high or sorry this is off high and then low so and then you got the kill switch here the clutch pulls in nice and easy rebuilt carburetor you got your air box in here the air filter looked really clean so I was happy with that um, fuel systems was pretty clean you can see in there not too much grime or dirt um, chains in good, good condition I also got a new chain with it and I also got another uh, rear spring so I might go ahead and check out that I haven't set up the uh, rear suspension for my weight or anything uh, I only did that on the front because I rebuilt the whole system and I actually have the uh, rebound uh, set to just a comfort mode which is 14 clicks out from um, all the way out so uh, I just have in comfort mode I'm primarily just doing a lot of like rocky roads and just the handlebars just jiggling around isn't the most fun for my hands so I went ahead and just put in comfort mode uh, rear FMF pipe looks really good tire when I purchased it um, I, the tube was actually flat so I had to replace that as well I cleaned up all of this stuff this was all just like black and gross and greasy you can see I put the polish wheel on here and got that back to aluminum and all here as well this was all grind up brake is all clean I actually cleaned out this uh, Brembo brake as well since I had to take the whole front off I like totally disassembled it cleaned it all up so it's not gunked up or anything anymore overall though this is a really sweet bike 
it zips around. It's a lot of fun. I've never ridden a 250 two-stroke, and man, it's got a lot of power. Growing up, I had an RM85L Suzuki, and then I had a uh, YZ250F, and then a 2012 YZ450F. Sold those, and then a few years later, I acquired this bad boy, so this is really fun. We'll go ahead and show some more videos of it, but for now, just wanted to do a quick walk around and show you the new 2004 KTM 250 EXC. Thank you for watching. Push that subscribe button and the like button and we'll see you next time.